Here's the challenge. Can we cut back on food waste and save money on our grocery bill at the same time? So I'm having a look at apps that track deals on last day of sale and day old items to see how far I can stretch that for a family of three in one day for fewer than 20 bucks. Let's start with the most important meal of the day and see what we can save on breakfast. If you live in the National Capital Region, you actually have access to two apps that'll show you deals on the Ottawa and Gatineau side if you're willing to cross the river. There's Food Hero, which primarily covers Metro, IGA, and that group of stores. It promises savings up to 60% off. The other option is Flash Food. Now that is an app that mostly covers Loblaw, your independent grocer, Clovigo and Maxi stores in both Ottawa and Gatineau. Let's see what we can find here. At the Maxi in Hull, pretty good deal on Greek yogurt, half off, 250, and a basket of fruit and other produce that maybe we can stretch into another one of our meals or a snack. Pickup is pretty straightforward in the store near the cash registers by the exit. That box has some potential. Let's break it down. One papaya, three, actually one nectarine, two tomatoes, two giant apples, four medium apples, three grapefruits, five pears, one Asian pear, two kiwis, and two bunches of mint. If we stew some apples and pears, pow, a little mint. Hey, there's breakfast. And I had an apple to spare for a snack. All right, let's see what we can get for lunch. This time we're checking Too Good To Go, which has more local grocery and restaurant options. Midi Center has a pretty interesting looking prepared food surprise bag. Let's try that out. The sign says we're in the right place. I asked Dubai Dahawa how customers feel about Too Good To Go after a year on the app. At the beginning, we didn't sell that much uh, of the bags, but now every day, all of them are sold. Especially students, they don't have time to cook and they're limited with their budget. So it's ready food for them with lower price. It's a pretty good deal. The prep bag includes food from yesterday's hot buffet. It just needs a zap in the microwave. So how are we going to tackle dinner? We're running into the top end of our budget, but luckily there's a way to get something for free. Let's check out Food Sharing Ottawa's Share It, Don't Toss It Facebook page. Just our luck, that looks like a pretty good bag of produce. I met volunteer Lori Bruce at home. Hey, I'm here for the pickup. Lori does regular pickups that go to local charities and the Facebook page. I usually go about two or three times a month and it's anywhere from um, multiple vegetables to a lot of fruits. Um, you can make all kinds of different things with it like stir fries or soups, fruit salad. The bigger donations help the group and then get people more interested in um, taking things from their pantry if they have things just past the date or they're going on vacation and they have food that maybe go to waste, they post it on the group and people will come and pick it up from your home. So let's take a look at the haul. Got broccoli. Nice bunch of asparagus. Lemons. A couple onions that'll go a long way. Five or six potatoes. And I think I saw couple sweet potatoes in there, a zucchini that's a little pockmarked but totally usable. I think there's a way that we can make a meal out of this. All in all, it came to $16.54 to feed two adults and one yogurt-loving toddler. That kept us under our goal for this challenge, 20 bucks. It took a little time and effort, but think of all the food we kept out of the landfill. 